Okay, welcome back guys. In this video I'm going to texture out the model we created in the previous video, so it's plants. So what we did was we got an image which I, which I took in a um, in a park, um, in, imported it, modelled around it, and then we shrunk it down. Um, just to show you, this is the image we used. So for the textures guys, I'm going to use a different image. I'm going to use this one because the plant is a lot bigger in this image. So it'll be more detailed. So um, yeah, it's always good to take multiple images. I mean, this one's too bright, so I'm not going to use that one. Uh, and just to show you my texture map in my Unity project, remember guys to put your texture maps in your Unity projects, even if you're using it in Maya, because when you import your um, your model, your texture will be in your in your project. So when you export your project, all your assets will be there. So this is the texture map. I've cut out four stems because I think we'll need to use more than two or more than one even so I don't like the UVs to overlap. I've got a big leaf for the front of the leaf and a smaller one for the back so and we've also got a circular green texture. I just applied a couple of filters in Photoshop to make a kind of grainy texture for the seed and um, this is 512 by 512 so with that the first thing I want to do in Maya is to get rid of this image plane because we don't need it anymore. Uh, just go to your window, your hypergraph connections and select the image plane. Here it is. Delete it out. Simple as that. And we could bring this up. We don't really need the grid anymore so we can always get rid of the grid. Go to show grid. Alright guys, so the first thing we should do is delete our history. So let's do that. Uh, history. Do it here as well. This one hasn't got much history, just the uh, soften. Uh, right, so let's put our texture on here. Um, let's not do that actually. Let's assign a new material. Lambert, as usual. And uh, go to the Lambert 2. In the color, I'm going to specify a file, with, which is the one I showed you in our Unity project. So here it is. It's in the textures folder. I've got the PSD as well in case we want to edit that, but when it comes to exporting our projects, JPEGs are a lot less, uh, file, the file size is less, so let's select this, and it should be slapped on our texture now, so click this little button here to, to uh, texture out your model. Uh, so we need to edit the UVs, so let's jump into our UV editor, edit UVs, UV texture editor, and here we are not very useful at the moment so what I'm going to do guys I'm going to go into a face select the free top select the free top ones and um, just frame up I was going to select free put it on one stem select the bottom free put it on the other stem so let's try and do that um, so here they are let's separate them out and um, go into a UV let's join them up firstly Okay, and drag them over to our first stem, shrink it down, move these guys to the top, and uh, let's move these down a bit. That'd do. Make sure the whole UV is in, in the texture. So that's the top bit. Let's go back to a face, select these three. That one. And again, let's cut them out, let's shrink them down, and let's put them on the second stem this time. Let's, whoop, let's go to our UVs, and uh, just line it up, simple as that guys in Maya. Feel free to use another texture it, um, UV editor if you want, I always use, I use this as much as I can to keep things simple. Yeah, that looks alright I think. I forgot to do something. Uh, Let's delete out these faces because we don't need them. Press Q because that's in the way. Uh, yeah, so we don't need them. Uh, okay, so the next thing is the actual leaf itself. So let's select the top to begin with. Select all these. Oops, and these three frame up. Let's select the end as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go into a top view, frame up, and go to create UVs, create UVs based on the camera. So simple as that, guys. Let's select them, and let's rotate them to the right shape. 
I think that'll be all right. And let's put them in. Okay, so let's move this out of the way for a sec. Um, and let's just move these out of the way. Okay. Let's select these again. And all we got to do now, guys, is move it into place. So you might want to select these ones, move them like this. Keep the shape going. We don't want to morph it too much because it will look unnatural in the Unity. But um, keep it inside the leaf, that's the main thing. If I can see it properly, um, move this in. That's alright, okay, that's alright as well. So we're kind of avoiding this area here. Okay, so back into a perspective object and that looks quite good so I'm happy with that you got a nice thing going on here remember guys we can also jump back to the Photoshop file and edit change the contrast to make this stand out a bit more um, and that's the top so let's do the same again to the bottom select all these Uh, done. and this one so again let's just go to a top view frame up cr create UVs based on the camera so such a nice trick to do and again let's put them in place but this time we're going to use the smaller one so shrink it down put it into place Okay, so to a UV again, and let's just put it into place. So, that looks alright, I think. Okay, so where are we at now? So, we've got both sides textured, that looks alright. Um, I'll probably go into Photoshop after this video, guys, and make this a bit better. We'll see what happens. Um, okay so uh, let's move on let's do this this stem uh, object now but before I do guys I'm just gonna drag this out real quick and delete some faces we don't need again so we don't need these faces that's, that's gonna go into the object so uh, we don't need these ones either so let's delete them out um, move it back in place again so Think that was alright. Yeah, it looks alright. So, okay, right. Let's assign a an existing material. We're going to use our Lambert two again. We should really rename it, but um, we can do that later. Go back into our texture editor, and let's go into a face. Select all the faces, and again, I'm going to be a bit quicker on this one. Let's just create the UVs based on the camera again. All right, go to UVs, cut them out, and let's firstly shrink them down. All right, and um, move them into place. So let's rotate this, this one, rotate again. Should just rotate each one ninety degrees. Um, Let's do this again. Alright guys, so simple as that. We want we want to make these a bit thinner. Okay, so put this one down. Let's have a look, see what things are now. Okay, that looks alright. Um not too detailed, but it looks okay. So let's do this one now. Um, again, let's assign as an existing material, the Lambert 2, and let's select all the faces, create UVs. Uh, and this time we're going to use spherical mapping, guys, so do that. And um, select the UVs. And they look a bit funny, but. Let's see what that's done. Um, 
Okay, that looks pretty cool actually. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. I think it looks okay. I'm just going to leave it like that for this video. So, okay, this is our textured leaf, guys. So, with that, with all our UVs out of the way, let's go to uh, export selection, go back into our project uh, models, and plant one. So, let's replace that. And in Unity, uh, something's messed up. So, <laughs> let's delete this plant we were using before. Let's double check things. Yeah, it looks fine. So let's just drag it back in again. And I forgot it was very big. So again, so what I'm going to do is um, go to Edit, Group, and um, where's the pivot point? It's somewhere random. So keep your finger on D, uh, bring it up. I want it to be, um, okay. Let's go to the top. I want it to be by the, uh, stem so that's okay and that's pretty much okay okay that's fine okay so back in the perspective let's let's do that so file export selection again replace how our plant in unity so uh, let's drag it in again and that pivot point's still messing around so Um, okay, that'll do. That'll do for this video. Uh, let's rotate it 90 degrees. And that's our plant, guys, uh, modelled out and textured out. So, simple as that. I'm going to go in Photoshop and uh, deal with this texture a bit, make it a bit better. The seed is green, very bright, but the actual leaf is very yellow. So, um, that's not the point. I hope you've learned a lot about UVs today. Uh, it looks pretty nice in my, I have to admit. So, that texture looks pretty realistic. Um, keeps disappearing for some reason. Uh, so I hope you've learned a lot, guys. It kind of joins onto the stem nicely. In the game, you won't be able to realise that, as you can see. So, okay. In the next video, I'll tidy this up and we'll move on to something else. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you next video.